Exercise is good for us, but does it matter what our minds are doing while we exercise? A new study published in the American Journal of Preventive Medicine suggests that keeping your mind actively engaged while working out may add to the benefits of exercise by slowing dementia. That we would like to try to continue to find interventions that help curb cognitive decline in later life. It's very debilitating, Alzheimer's and other dementias rob people of their independence, of their personality, their intellect. So it's very important to keep looking for interventions that can help promote good brain health in later life. And we think this type of exercise does that even maybe a little better than traditional exercise. Research shows that exercise may prevent or delay dementia and improve cognitive functioning and normal aging. Yet only 14% of adults 65 to 74 years old and 7% of those over 75 report regular exercise. The study involved 63 senior citizens, ranging from 58 to 99 years of age, who averaged three bike rides per week for three months. Half of the study group rode recumbent stationary bikes, while the other half rode cybercycles, specially designed bikes equipped with virtual reality screens. Cybercycle riders experienced virtual tours through places like Paris, California, and outer space. I found it very interesting to talk to a number of the participants in the study who would tell me how interested they were in following what was happening on the screen, that they would pay attention to the other racers, they would try to beat them. Hanley and her team found that cybercycle riders had significantly better executive function, which affects multitasking and decision making, than those that rode a traditional stationary bike. So our findings were really compelling. We, we, what we showed in our study after three months, the group of senior independent living individuals that were riding the cybercycle had significant improvement in their cognitive health compared to the group that was riding the standardized bicycle. Cybercyclists experienced a 23% reduction in progression to mild cognitive impairment compared to the traditional exercisers. No difference in exercise frequency, intensity, or duration was found between the two groups indicating that factors other than effort and fitness were responsible for the cognitive increases. Researchers are hoping that these new results will get more seniors actively interested in working out, not only to improve their bodies, but also their minds. Um, we also had a number of participants who really reported that their thinking was getting clearer, that they felt uh, they were a little sharper cognitively, which is really what we were most interested in and excited to find.